the actuator reduces or increases the fluid pressure in the disc brake cylinders according to signals from the computer. In this way, it controls the speed of the wheels. The actuator is composed of the following components. One, three position solenoid valves, which change the mode of brake fluid pressure by holding, reducing, or increasing the pressure in the disc brake cylinder. And two, a pressure reduction unit consisting of a reservoir for brake fluid returning from the disc brake cylinder and a pump for returning the fluid in the reservoir to the master cylinder. Incidentally, the pump is driven by a motor and revolves continuously while the ABS is operating. As an example, let's take a look at the operation of the brake system of one front wheel. Under normal braking conditions, when slip between the tire and the road is rare, the anti-lock brake system does not operate. In this situation, the three position solenoid valve does not operate. Port A remains open and port B remains closed. Brake fluid pressure is applied to the disc brake cylinder through port C. When the brake pedal is released, the brake fluid returns to the master cylinder from port C through port A and number three check valve so that no fluid pressure remains in the disc brake cylinder. However, when slip between the tire and road increases greatly, a signal from the ABS computer causes the three position solenoid to operate. Let's see how the reducing, holding, and increasing modes of the three position solenoid valve operate. First, the holding mode. When the three position solenoid coil receives about two amperes of electric current, the solenoid valve moves to the central position. At this time, Port A closes and cuts off the fluid pressure from the master cylinder. At the same time, even though the pump motor is turning, there is no drop in pressure because Port B is also closed. In this way, the pressure in the disc brake cylinder is kept the same. Next, the pressure reduction mode. When the three position solenoid coil receives about five amperes of electric current, the solenoid valve moves to the position shown here. At this time, port A is closed, cutting off fluid pressure from the master cylinder. At the same time, port B is open and the disc brake cylinder fluid is sent to the reservoir through port C. The pump motor operates on a signal from the computer so that the fluid stored in the reservoir is returned to the master cylinder. This results in a drop in disc brake cylinder hydraulic pressure. Finally, the pressure increase mode. We will look at the pressure increase mode when the fluid pressure of the disc brake cylinder is lower than the fluid pressure of the master cylinder. As no current is flowing in the three position solenoid coil, the return spring pushes the solenoid valve back to the position shown here. This causes port A to open and fluid pressure from the master cylinder is applied to the disc brake cylinder. With port B closed and unable to affect the pressure, the fluid pressure at the disc brake cylinder increases. This graph shows the connection between vehicle speed and the speed of one wheel, and also the change in fluid pressure in the disc brake cylinder of that wheel when the ABS is operating. When the speed of the wheel drops quickly due to sudden application of the brake, the ABS computer starts the actuator and reduces the fluid pressure in the disc brake cylinder. Then, as the speed of the wheel increases, brief switches between holding and increasing modes increases the fluid pressure of the disc brake cylinder a little at a time. By controlling the speed of the wheel in this way, 
wheel lock is prevented. Switching from one mode to another many times in a very short time allows the car to slow down without the wheels locking. The anti-lock braking system uses a 